I first had the idea to make the mosaic as part of the semester-long project that is part of the spirituality concentration here at SFTS. Initially, it was just supposed to be the baptism of Christ, but I couldn't really figure out where that would go other than this back wall behind me. So then I started looking at the entire wall and very naively thought, oh, this will take maybe a year. Um, and three years later, we have <laughs> this mosaic. When I was first working on this, I thought most of the tiles would come from uh, broken plates and dishes from the Salvation Army or Goodwill. But it turned out that these pieces would just start coming from everywhere. One time, the Alumni Council actually took some of the old SFTS mugs and they incorporated the breaking of the mugs into a worship service and the next day they actually came and each put a piece of tile on the mosaic, so that was really special. One of my deepest hopes for the mural was that people would come in throughout the years and look at it and have an experience of the divine that they might not otherwise normally have. We have such wonderful traditions in the church of prayer and worship and singing, um, but I wanted to add, you know, this other possibility of, of art and, you know, color, line, and form. Well, there's a lot of symbolism in the mosaic for me. Um, I was going through a very difficult time when I first started working on it, and it kind of dawned on me that, you know, that these could be a symbol of the broken pieces of my life, you know, being put back together to make something new, that God was taking my shattered self and building something new and beautiful out of it. Uh, the other things that I think of are, are the grout in between that holds everything together and that just makes me think of how God kind of exists in the spaces between us and keeps us together as a community. Well, as the project was coming to a close, it was getting close to graduation and an ongoing joke between me and the Dean was that I wasn't allowed to graduate until I finished the mural. And there were still two sections left and I had been working on it long enough that I knew how long it would take to complete and there was about 250 work hours left that I had to figure out how to squeeze into two months time. But I was working on the mosaic one night and all of a sudden this group of students completely unplanned just descended upon me, um, about eight people in total, and just started helping me with the mosaic. And it was just a reminder that, you know, we're never doing things on our own. You know, God will always send us help when we need it. The mural has become so much more. It has inspired people to actually transform holy grounds. Uh, this has always been a place where students have come together, but it wasn't always as nice as it is now. Uh, the, the mural inspired new floors, new furniture, a new coat of paint on the walls. And this place has really become a hub. We started having community dinners on Monday nights. So it's just another way for the community to have fellowship with each other um, here in this space where the mural ends. At the end of the day, the mural really emerged from the community. Every aspect of this SFTS community contributed in some way, whether it was the students or the faculty, the staff, the auxiliary, the alumni council, and the al alums. Everyone was part of this project, and without all of those people, this never would have happened.